Hi guys. Everything alright? Right, right. <laughs> Everything alright with you? So we're back here with the channels Tapa Olho Azul and Super Academico. And today I want I want to raise a, a question, a problem, um, that I I was watching some documentaries about representation in the the mainstream media industry uh, mostly the big franchises and I was start thinking about uh, Brazilian representation in these franchises uh, before I start uh, don't forget to subscribe the channels and ring the bell for notifications take a look at the description below to see what else we can offer you of contents okay books music music okay so uh, as, as you, you probably know if you are, uh, are a follower of the channel that I am a fan of Star Wars and Marvel too both uh, Disney franchises and recently there was a discussion about the representation of uh, women and black people and Asian people especially now with the the, uh, the Oscars when uh, Michelle Yeoh uh, 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 an Asian woman won the Oscar for best actress and the, the, the other actor K1 won, won for best supporting ac actor and I remember that Michelle Yeoh uh, she's in the Marvel franchise she plays two parts in Marvel franchise in Shang-Chi and Rise, Rise of the Galaxy and I was thinking that I, I, I have never seen I never seen any any Brazilian character or actor in the in the in the uh, Star Wars franchise or Marvel that matter uh, uh, I, I don't think it's on purpose eh? I think it's easier for other uh, ethnic other kinds of people to to get this the, the access to this kind of franchise but I think that that they, they should think of including a Brazilian character in the Star Wars universe Marvel 2 and, and Marvel is easier because in the Marvel comics there are Brazilian characters uh, in the um, uh, in the mutants uh, comics there is the, the solar flare uh, uh, that's a Brazilian he, he already appeared in two movies in the Fox movies uh, he appears in the new Mun mutants and in the um, future uh, no, X-Men and memories of the future past he appears in these two movies the, the character uh, that's Roberto Beto something I don't know the, the name uh, of the character I, I remember the name of the hero eh? solar flare solar flare solar flare <coughs> it's a guy that burns especially new mutants new, Mu new mutants has this Brazilian character I don't know if the actor was Brazilian and uh, there was a Brazilian actress in the movie that was uh, Alice Braga that plays the, the doctor in the hospital the, the place that where the, the team mutants were but uh, in, in Star Wars there is I never saw nev never saw any Brazilian uh, actor or actress or uh, character it's not possible because it's a galaxy far far away but uh, we, we see in, in, in the Star Wars universe you see many Americans of course uh, you see <coughs> British actors uh, brilliant British actors like Alec Guinness and, and 
Felicity Jones and, and the, the most of the cast of, of Andor were British and there is the uh, Hugh McGregor that's uh, Scotland and there is uh, the actor that plays Qui Gon Jinn, he's Irish. Was what's his name? Uh, Liam Neeson. Then he's Irish. And Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher, and Mark Hamill are Americans. Ray Hayden Christensen is Canadian. Uh, there are Asians uh, in, in the franchise, like the the, the two monks of uh, Rogue One. Uh, they are they are Asians. There there is the the Pakistani actor. Uh, Kunai, Kunai, I forgot his name. He's also in the Marvel Universe. He's one of the immortals né? in Eternals. Né? And I forgot the name of the character. I, I'm forgetting everything today. Sorry, I must be sleepy. So, uh, but there's no Brazilians. Uh, there, of course, there's Diego Luna, who's Mexican, who represents somehow represents the Latin community but there's no Brazilian as Brazilians we have this different unique kind of accent that it's it could be uh, a great accent and a great asset to the franchise since the, the franchise represents a galaxy of, of many kinds of cu cultures many kind of races so it would be interesting to have one Brazilian actor, one Brazilian, uh, one person with Brazilian accent in the middle of all things. And uh, I think, I think maybe it's a crazy theory of mine. I think that's why uh, uh, here in Brazil we make so much fun with the names that the 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 the, the Star Wars universe make the names of characters and it's, uh, <laughs> it sounds funny for us like Count Dooku it means for us with, with when it's said in English it sounds for us as is as if you were Count from S believe it or not from S and there is the Master uh, Sifo Diaz Master Sifo Diaz for us, sounds like master fuck itself, master fuck itself. It's so uh, I think maybe there is a Brazilian angry person in the Lucasfilm that helped <laughs> create this <laughs> these strange names that uh, sounds like funny names in a way of protesting. Uh, in behalf of us that has no representation on the screen uh, on representation on the stories on the franchise uh, there is the, the captain panaka from from the phantom menace for from us for us it sounds like captain jerk <laughs> so uh i want to bring this this for for this week as a discussion if if there is a brazilian actor that works in the Star Wars franchise in any level maybe doing voices in the animation uh, that I don't know of please forgive me for bringing this up but we all would like to see a Brazilian voice a Brazilian face in the Star Wars universe in you have in, in Hollywood universe uh, some Brazilian actors that are available they are they are uh, they are uh, uh, in the caliber of the of the community of actors that work there like uh, uh, Wagner Moura like Alice Braga I mentioned before and um, how is his name uh, it was he played uh, Xerxes in the 300 uh, I forgot it I forget everything today my god uh, uh, sorry please research the guy that played Xerxes in 300 
He's a Brazilian actor, a uh, very talented man. We love him. He's very representative of us there in the screen, in the, in the, in the world. Uh, but I can't can recall his name right now. And also, Wagner Moura is from my city. Uh, it's from Salvador. Uh, Alice Braga, no, Alice Braga is not. Alice, Alice Braga is not. There are many actors that may be uh, accessible as well. So please think about that and uh, leave the comments if you like, if you agree, if you don't feel in any other country that you are represented by the Star Wars universe or other franchises, please come and speak up. So I hope you enjoyed the video for this week and don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell and take a look at the description. There are many contents here in both channels, books, musics, other videos, uh, I think that's it, and social media also. Okay, bye bye.